Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. This video is very kindly sponsored by DistroKid. I'll be talking about them more later in the video. Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Dan, aka Lucent. I'm a music producer and songwriter. And today I'm going to be reacting to a variety of Aurora's live performances, including songs from the Hate concert, the KEXP concert, the Nonsense I don't know how to say it concert. Yeah, so let's go. Okay, so I've reacted to all of the Aurora's albums so far, and on each of those videos, loads of people were like, her live performances are next level you need to react to them at some point. And although I considered just doing like one whole big concert like The Hake or something, I thought before I do that, I'll start with like a more general live reaction, check out some of the individual songs and stuff, as well as some songs from those big concerts. And then maybe later on, I'll do like a full concert reaction at some point. Basically, I took all of your recommendations from the post that I put out on the YouTube community page. And apparently I'm gonna be screaming, crying, throwing up. So basically, I think it's going to be a good reaction. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, then hello, welcome. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for all content, reactions and otherwise, everything to do with songwriting and make sure to like this video to help it in the algorithm. This video is being sponsored by DistroKid and today I'm going to talk about their feature Splits. DistroKid is a music distribution service and as they always have done, DistroKid never take any cut from your streaming revenue. They also have this thing called Splits, which makes it really, really easy to split. <laughs> all of your revenue between you and your collaborators. Obviously now more than ever, it's becoming more and more apparent, especially since the pandemic, that music is a hugely collaborative thing and Splits is a feature that lets you tailor the percentage cut to everybody. So it makes it really, really convenient. It also has like good features for like stuff like privacy. Each collaborator can only see the amount that they get, which allows you to keep that decision between you and the individual collaborator. You can get 7% off your first year's membership through my VIP link. And the link for that is in the description as well. So click on that and sign up for DigitalKid through that and you'll get a discount and you'll be helping me. Let's get on to the video. Okay, so I've made a little playlist. So the first performance I'm going to watch is her performing It Happened Quiet live at the Nidaros Domen. Let me know if I butchered that. Okay. Ooh, I like the setup of the stage and everything. Strings. So much drama. I love when a performer does something live that's like a very different vibe to the original. Oh my god, it's like in a cathedral. Oh my god. Oh gosh, she's so good. Her voice is so perfect. But I know it happened quiet. So quiet. <laughs> oh, the reverb of it is just so stunning in a, in a cathedral. Oh, wow. Her voice is so good live. It's so incredible to see her songs, which are so ethereal to be performed in a space like this. It's just so incredible. Her voice was made to be performed in a church, really. Oh. Her voice, Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. That song has such a like huge 
drama and ethereal beauty to it and like that kind of live performance performing it in like a th- cathedral it just heightens it there's this like element of spirituality that like that and kind of infects the piece itself i'm not religious myself but like there is an association for me with music that has that kind of grand reverb that just adds that element of spirituality to it and then just to have it on top of the song that is kind of mystical and spooky it just adds such an incredible extra layer to it so artistic in the way that like uh, even as a live performance it's like how can we take this to another place how can we make this live performance a piece of art in itself rather than just a showcase of the song okay what's the next one what have we got next so this is the vivo performance of heathens since her album came out i've been obsessed with heathens obsessed 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 it's such a good song i'm hyped to see it live <laughs> oh, okay so this is more like a performance like peace her voice is just so perfect isn't it that's why we live like heathens oh, oh. i love a bit of interpretive dance so i am ready for this <laughs> Oh, yes. I just love the act of like shape with the body, making shape with the body. It's like passion and beauty. She's so engaging. It's like, oh, I love the song. The dancers are stunning. I love how they've even thought about the fact that all the dancers have the same dark hair and the same dark clothing. Like it kind of frames Aurora as this like white blonde, you know, a visual artistic thing, you know. You Looks like she's kind of comforting. It's very mother and child as well. I must say I prefer like a live band and stuff when it comes to these kinds of performances. This is the best bit in the song, it's so good. You ready? Yes! <laughs> A bit gets me every time. Oh yeah. Oh. Yes, Aurora. Oh, this song is so good. Everything we touch is evil. Oh. Oh. Her falsetto is so perfect. <laughs> so good. Like, definitely more of a produced performance. And I must say that, like, yeah, when it comes to, like, live performances, I love having a live band and stuff as well. But what I really appreciated from that performance was a focus on the artistry of the song. Like, it really represented the imagery of, like, mother and child. The song's kind of about Eve, isn't it? That's kind of the idea in the Garden of Eden and, like, the reason for, for, for like, humans being the way they are. So it's almost like she's Eve and the other women are, like, the descendants and she's almost, like, comforting them in who they are. Um, they're kind of out there, like, expressing themselves fully through this interpretive dance and she has got one of their heads on their lap. That's the imagery, is like, it's all okay. You know, you can be whoever you want to be and I'll be that mother. You know, she's the mother and they're the disciples, the children, the people who are the heathens. And it's all through physical imagery, which is such a kind of cool thing to see in a live performance video that you don't necessarily get from just listening to the song. And actually something that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get from a big live performance like in a church, like the last one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Very cool. And her voice. Oh my God. God, her voice is so stunning. Just a note from future Dan, hello, past. <laughs> I have launched my Patreon this week, so that's a new thing. And if you want to check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. The ad-free version of this video will be available right now, and every single week, the ad-free version of the YouTube video will be available at the same time. Also available today is an uncut version of my reaction to the gods we can touch that is available now in the Weeping Wendy Pro tier of my Patreon, so make sure to check check that out as well and the uncut version of this particular video will be available this coming Tuesday so make sure to keep an eye out for that cool 
Now back to the past, back to the present, back to the future, who knows? <laughs> So the next one I'm going to be doing is her performance of Murder Song 54321 at the 2015 Nobel Peace Prize concert. So this is a very different setting from the two that we've had before. Like, I loved it. When I first heard it, I was like, oh. And you can check out all my old album reactions, by the way. Um, I'll leave a link. Yes, so let's go on to that one. This is Murder Song. Okay, acoustic. Acoustic electric, anyway. Electric acoustic. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. oh, she's so good. She's so young. Against my hair, I close. Oh. And back, I am dead. She's so expressive. I'm Bang. He knows Come on, harmonies. Oof. Here I go. go. It's very different, isn't it, this version? Oh, she looks so scared. And the way she's acting is just telling the story. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, I've got chills. She really is such a storyteller, isn't she? In everything she does. Oh my god, she's so... She looks like a frightened person who's being murdered. <laughs> Is starting off wild shit. One, the gun is gone, and so am I, and here I go. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. <gasps> amazing oh my god like so i think the thing that got me was that like obviously the song originally right she's telling this story of this person who is like murdered by their lover but like what she did with this live performance was act how would she feel if she were that person in that story you know terrified but then kind of solemn at the end you know and she perfectly acts it I, you get a sense that she believes what she's saying there's almost like some kind of truth to it it's very method in that sense i get that kind of that vibe of it it's storytelling at the next level isn't it again like what i said in the last one it's like this is her adding like another layer of artistry to the song telling the story in a full, more fully fleshed way and using this live performance in order to extend the tapestry of the music you know i'm so excited to see her live i'm seeing her live in two months i'm so excited <laughs> let's get on to the next one so this is aurora performing exist for love at christine's radio festival this one didn't get loads of votes in terms of like you know uh, lots of people reckon recommending it but i really wanted to hear her do exist for love live so <laughs> i've picked it do, do, do. Oh. they say there is a war i'm into this stripped down vibe i've even got a car on Oof. and then you would say Backing vocalist, beautiful singer. Oh. Everything good in life seems to lead back to you. So nice to hear this song with the lyrics so framed so perfectly, you know. To be forbidden from loving. Her voice is so good. Ah, harmonies. Oh, I'm a choir boy at heart, so <laughs> harmonies just every time. I feel like I exist for love. And you say my name. Oh, 
gosh, these harmonies sound so like classic. Oh god, I'm obsessed with all this. And I love you. Ooh. I love you. Oh. I love you. Look, that was so good. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Like white horses in the waves. So, oh god, that is so up my street. Like, I love harmonies. You get beautiful chords. Played on piano, stunning. Played on guitar, stunning. When they are sung in like multiple part harmony, there's just nothing like it for me. <laughs> I grew up in choirs. I um, ran a cappella groups at university. Like I'm all about vocal harmonies. Every single one of my songs has vocal harmonies like quite prominently. It's just like something in that for me. It just has the pure essence of beauty and uh, human expression. And I absolutely love how they represented this, that song because the chords in that song are so stunning and like so complex and so just like very delicately positioned and placed. And then to like have that represented through vocal harmony just, oh, it just adds such another layer to it. I love it. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go on to the next one. This is Through the Eyes of a Child, which, if you remember my <laughs> original reaction to this, I wept a lot. Uh, this is Through the Eyes of a Child, the Vivo performance. World is covered by a trace. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Scars we cover a pain. Oh my god. <laughs> Through the eyes of a child. Oh my god, do you know what I was just saying about harmonies? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh my god, the guy is... Hung. The vocals are hung, aren't they? Oh my god, that bass singer. A cappella, guys. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Mm. This is so lush. As soon as I was talking about harmonies, you were like... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know what I was saying about the beauty of a piece and like framing it and using vocals to just like representing emotionally like exactly what the song is doing. Because I think the thing is, is that when it is all vocals, it's all so intrinsically written into the human body and the human art form humans as are making art you know i'm obsessed with a cappella and that was just like so incredible and her voice was stunning her storytelling was stunning again but i just loved how simple and beautiful it was this team of incredible singers lent so much soul and beauty to that performance it was wonderful it really reminded me of you know uh, pentatonix their song run to you had a similar kind of energy to it intimate Oh god, screaming, crying and throwing up, exactly. <laughs> okay, so the next one I've got lined up is Gentle Earthquakes, live on KEXP. This was a really often recommended one, so let's do that. Aurora. I love this song. How cold a tear can feel on warm skin. I love that sample so much. <laughs> Ooh. Like a gentle earthquake, getting sense of fire. It's nice to see her 
in her nymphy ways. <laughs> Myself and run. Oh. Yes. Beautiful. In my lover's eyes. Oh, I'm amazing. I love this moment. It's so full and lush, and then it kind of goes away. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yes, I just want to dance with her. Oh my god, I'm going to lose my shit at the concert. <laughs> She's so committed to her performance, isn't she? I love how playful she is as well. Fabulous, so good. Yeah, she's great, isn't she? I just, I love that that one really showed off her personality, like, cause she is so like childlike and free and this kind of nymph fairy tale kind of character but real. Um, <laughs> I love that they managed to represent how big that song is, even in like a small studio space, you know? Um, there was something about the mixing on that one that was a bit like funny. Other than that, it was a really nice performance of the song. Like, yeah, love it. So the last one is the one that you've all been waiting for because it was the one that was most requested. This is The Seed live at the Hake, H-A-I-K concert, 2019. Yeah, this one was recommended a lot, so I'm quite excited to hear it. Let's do it. Oh my god, she's in the forest? Sure. I mean, of course she is. <laughs> Just like the sea, I don't know where to go. And of course, like, the song is about her being this seed growing in the world, you know? It's, and she's in a forest. It's incredible. It's so good. Clever. Ooh. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Look at her, she's really into it. <gasps> oh, look at her. Oh my god, full on choir. Yes. Oh my god, my. I've already got goosebumps. Oh my god, everyone's singing. Beautiful. It's like a flashbot vibe, I love it. This is amazing. Can you imagine being here? Like, oh my god. This is in art. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, to do this in a forest, it's just so powerful. God, everyone's really feeling it, aren't they? It's magical. Wow. You can hear all the nature. Oh, that's so amazing. Uh, I love it. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is amazing. Like this song is like so powerful in itself, but like in the forest with this huge choir, it's like just incredible. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Look at her face. Oh. Look like a surprise there as well. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, I can't believe it went so well. You know how I was saying like earlier on that like that the art of the music can be enhanced by a version of the live performance because they add something to it, they add something new to it that works with the song. This is that, isn't it? Like to the nth degree to take a song where the key phrase is you can't eat money when all the trees are flattened and when the rivers are full of poison, you can't eat money. You need to think about what's important in terms of the planet and climate change and everything. And to be performing that in such an incredibly beautiful, natural space is just incredibly powerful. It's like the most perfect version of a live performance you could have that like, you know, where it's like directly about the things that are surrounding you and you wouldn't be able to do that performance if nature, if like, <laughs> if what she's saying in the song were to come true, then you wouldn't be able to have that performance. It's like so poignant, isn't it? It's like so powerful. And then to like have like the, 
the the male voice choir like the low blah, like that element of it really heightened through having this like you know live male voice choir there around her surrounding her was just so powerful and it was almost like the audience joined in it was like this magical experience i just it's incredible it's so unique so oh my god She's just a pure artist, isn't she? Every single thing that she does, everything she puts out, every the way she portrays herself, every single live performance, every single like song, album, lyric is just part of this artistic tapestry. And she is just unlike anyone else. I have so much of an appreciation for her now. I'm so excited to go see her in April. Oh my God. How exciting. Oh, wow. If only it was in a forest. It's not, it's in a venue. <laughs> Shit. Amazing. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you haven't, make sure to subscribe to the channel. All of my Weeping Wendy's are now appearing in the credits. Thank you so much for all your support. Particular thank you to Maya, who was my first ever patron. Um, <laughs> I just had to give you a little call out. Thank you so much for your support. It really does blow me away that people are willing to support me to the point where it's now, you're now supporting my career. I really hope you're enjoying all of the extra content and all the uncut videos. If you want to sign up for my Patreon, you can do. The link is in the description. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you again soon. Bye.